Hi everyone, so this is a quick video about the products that we sell. The first in our lineup is the Plasma Static Mini. And this is a small desktop device just for dabs. So again, this one is very small, very simple. It's just meant for dabs. Very small amount for home use. Next up in the lineup is the Plasma Static R&D. And this is a small unit meant for research. This one should do about five grams at a time. It's not fully assembled, but you place your sample here like the mini, and then you collect off the plates about five grams. That's really it. This is for research. If you want to make sure whether your cultivar is going to be great for static or not, and this one is for home use. You put your sample in here, you spoon it, and it falls into these plates. That's it. For home use, for research. When you move up to production, you've got the plasma static pilot. So this machine, in an 8 to 10 hour shift, should do about 1 or 2 kilos of second pass plasma static. That means run it twice to get a very decent quality. How much you're going to process really depends on the quality of your Keef. Again, this process is Keef, and this is our smallest machine as of December 2025, U.S. pricing for this machine is $15,000 and this is our entry level device. Again, prices are subject to change. This is for US markets only. It does not include shipping, crating, etc. So always check the website for latest pricing. This is the plasma static pilot and this is a kilo or two of finished heads per day. That's what this is. It's an entry level device. The difference from the other machines is that this device does not use compressed air, it uses a blower, and it only has one unibody power supply. Next in the lineup is the Plasma Static V1. And so this is a Plasma Static V1. We guarantee about 500 grams per hour of processing capacity on this machine if you know what you're doing in your Keef. Pros typically average about 8 to 10 kilos per shift on this machine. And in the US, currently as of december it's thirty five thousand dollars other markets prices vary because of tariffs but this is the plasma static v1 and this has some upgrades that are not standard in this machine finally we have the plasma static v2 this is the plasma static v2 this is more for a gmp type environment in the u.s this machine is seventy thousand usd other markets prices vary so this machine should do above 10 kilos per shift maybe as much as 15 kilos per shift depending on the quality of your biomass so those are the machines that we currently offer plasma static mini plasma static r d pilot b1 b2 this is a workhorse and this is what most customers choose to buy because it is such a versatile device high production very cost effective even bigger is the V2. And if you're looking for some sort of GMP compliance, you're looking for a better built machine, thicker steel, better seals, this is the sort of device you're gonna be looking for. It's higher throughput. It's an amazing machine. The difference between the V2 and the V1 is that the V2 has all sorts of sensors. Obviously it's got a PLC, a little screen on the side. There's a little bit more automation to it than the V1. Uh, it's a lot cleaner because the seals on the doors are just so much nicer. The gauge of the steel is thicker. The quality of the welds is better. It's just a more expensive device because it is bigger and it's built more robustly than the V1. Also, the V2 comes standard with discharge electrodes, which are these things here. And what they do is that as the powder recirculates, this field here kills the static charge of the particles so that they clog less in the funnel and when they go around there's going to be less accumulation it's not an end all be all it's not perfect but it helps a lot and then also the v2 comes with supercharged power supplies which make a better separation a cleaner separation and then the cake that you can collect on the plates is going to be a lot less than on the v1 on the v1 you can get the supercharged power supplies as an upgrade, and then you can also get the discharge electrodes as an upgrade, but they are not included. And those are the same charge and discharge 
that come in the V2. That allows you to increase production on the V1, probably by somewhere between 10 to 40%, depending on the quality of your material. But those are the offerings that we have as of December 20, 2025. I hope this video was entertaining.